today I'm going to make codfish fritters alternatively known as saltfish fritters I know you can hear the rain it's raining in the hills of Kingston St. Andrew Jamaica Kingston Jamaica the ingredients are quarter pound of codfish two cups of flour one cup of water one cup of water one teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of black pepper three garlic cloves smashed one teaspoon of parsley dried parsley one teaspoon of dried basil one stalk of scallion we're going to strip it and dice it and a quarter cut quarter cut of scotch bonnet pepper and half a teaspoon of um, thyme it's optional thyme leaf now this is quarter pound of codfish salted salt fish you can put this to boil or you can remove the skin before you put it to boil I like to remove the skin before I put it to boil so just like that find the skin One half teaspoon of baking powder. Put to boil the codfish and in enough water to cover it. And cover it slightly. it slightly put the stove's gauge on four open the pot's lid halfway such as this took eight minutes turn the stove off and remove the codfish Debone the codfish. We're going to mince it and debone it. Now mince it. Mince it to small pieces. Crush, smash, smash the garlic. Dice the green onion or the scallion. This is how we used to cook in Jamaica. We just love to cook all the food like this and just tear the food. But to me, I don't really do that. I do this. I used to do that. A quarter piece of pepper as half and a quarter.
remove the seeds and dice this now to a bowl or a container add the cut fish <coughs> Add the seasoning. Add the parsley. Add a quarter teaspoon of basil, a quarter teaspoon of parsley, and a quarter teaspoon of grounded black pepper. Grounded black pepper. Stir, stir in. of flour and half teaspoon of half teaspoon of baking powder stir in add the water one cup of water portion of one cup of water This is how the dough should look. You should be able to give it a drop like that. So you just stir that in. This is how the dough should look. Put to eat a frying pot. A frying pot. After one minute, add the oil. Add the oil. Quarter cup. Oh, and put your stove on high. Put the stove's gauge on very high. The highest you can ever put it. Now after two minutes or until you see a little smoke, start to drop your drops. You want to get a spoonful, a small spoonful and drop. You can use your finger to go. And try and keep them apart. or keep them apart. At least a quarter inch apart.
you know, I've never been keeping my hand. In this part, I put five. So, after two minutes, or until it starts to get a golden brown around the sides, start flipping the first one. Two minutes is in 30 seconds. Let it stay on one side. No ever flip it, just let it stay. Like this now. Yes, this one almost ready. That's our chefs. That's how we like to play in a pot sometimes, but you should just leave it, let it cook, let it fry. Now after two minutes. Start removing them. See, this method of cooking is not gonna it's not going to suck the oil up. That's why I told you to put your stove on very high. It's very important. And let's do the second batch. Cod fish fritters or salt fish, salt fish fritters. We got twelve fritters. I was about to take a taste to see if I was worth anything and I said no wait let me wait until you guys can witness it so for the first time I want to find one of these to break wow wow you see that look at that look look wow This 
tastes is real good. If you follow my recipe, you can't go wrong. Saltfish flitters, cod, alternatively known as codfish flitters, alternatively called codfish flitters. <laughs> 